guys, this is Jessica again. Um, on this video, I kind of want to talk about ghosts and the afterlife and reincarnation. Um, I have always been fascinated by ghosts or spiritual beings, angels, whatever you want to call them. Um, I've always been interested in the afterlife, like what happens to you when you pass away? What happens to your soul? Um, I've always been interested in reincarnation too. Um, you know, in my previous video, I said that my dad passed away in September. Um, you know, when he passed away, you know, I kind of started talking to him because, you know, I'm a fan of John Edward and what he does and how he communicates with people about their loved ones. You know, he says that you don't need him to do it. You can do it yourself. So, you know, I kind of like asked my dad if, you know, from time to time, he would show me like a sign that he was around or something like that. So, like a couple weeks after my dad passed away, my sister was at the mall in Beaumont and um, there was like this train there and the train was called like the Peapod Express or something like that and that's what my niece would call my dad was Peapod so you know I think that was kind of a sign to my sister and stuff and, um, you know, for a while, I never got a sign from my dad, which I was kind of like, well, you know, I was his baby girl, why is he not sending me a sign and sending my sister, who is so much like my mom? But, you know, I just kept on praying about it and just asking him. So there was one day, I was cleaning or doing something, and just all of a sudden, I got the smell, and no candles were lit, no scentsy was lit, no incense oils, nothing. And it smelled like my great grandmother, Flanagan, and she had a certain type of smell that she had, and you know, she watched over me and my cousin. Mostly, and my sister too, but she mostly watched me and my cousin Beth. And so, you know, I always had these great memories of, she would always watch uh, The Price is Right, and then, you know, her soap opera that came on after that, and she always had, you know, a couple slices of cantaloupe and some salt. That was her thing. So, um... You know, I have great memories of that, and, you know, me and my cousin would perform for her, you know, Mr. Sandman and stuff like that. And, um, you know, every once in a while, I will smell her smell of her house and, you know, her clothes and stuff like that. So, you know, anytime I smell that, I always say, hey, Grandmother Flanagan, thank you for being around me and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I never really had any sign from my dad, you know, but my boyfriend does a lot of car shows and stuff like that. So, one of his friends had a picture up of something, and it was, like, some sort of photography place, and it was called Sweet Pea Photography, which is kind of a weird name for a photography thing for, like, car shows. And my dad gave me the nickname Sweet Pea. And he would always call me that. You know, instead of my name, he would call me Sweet Pea. So, you know, maybe that was a sign from him. I thought, okay. So, my birthday is April 26th. And, you know, we were going to go out to eat at this you know, really nice seafood place. And, you know, it was just going to be so crowded, and they were giving us so much hassle. So, I was like, you know what, I'll just go to the Outback. You know, I like it, my dad liked it, he always liked to go there. So, we went to the Outback, and we had, like, about 12 or 13 people there. 
and you know, it was going great, you know, great food and all this. Well, near the end, right before we did my birthday cake, all of the lights went out in the entire restaurant. Even the TVs and everything went off. And it wasn't raining that day, it wasn't storming that day, it was a perfectly sunny day. So, I kind of like to think to myself, even if it was a fluke accident or something, that maybe that was my dad saying, Hey, I'm here with you celebrating your 30th birthday. You know, and um, it's just like, don't take things for granted because they seem like a mistake, or they seem like... Oh, well, you know, that can't be. Because even, like, the littlest things that are so obvious, you know, it could be a sign from your loved one that they're there with you and they see what you're doing. So, you know, talk to them all the time. You know, if you feel them around you, talk to them. Have a conversation with them because they see what's going on in your life. And, um... If you have any comments or anything, please leave them. Um, if you have any comments about the afterlife or reincarnation, then please, you know, leave comments. Because I would love to have, like, a discussion about this. Because I think it's something that people don't talk about or they don't want to talk about. Because they don't know what happens after you die. You know, and the best way to discover that is to talk about it. And, like, I have people in my life that I know are from past lives because I'm so comfortable with them. I'm so familiar with them. You know, it's like I have known them in a past life. And, you know, people that are in your life are there for a reason. Whether they're just coming into this life you're in right now or if it's past lives that they've been in, that they're just coming back. You know, it's things like that that we can't ignore. We can't just be like, okay, well, we just go to heaven. Which, I'm a Baptist. Don't get me wrong, I'm Baptist. And, but I also have a little bit of some pagan beliefs. It, that doesn't make me a bad Christian. Because I believe in the afterlife. And I believe in reincarnation. No one knows what's right and no one knows what's wrong. That's the thing. You have to decide for yourself. So, uh, leave any comments you want and make them all positive, nothing negative, unless they're, like, negative in, like, a positive way. So, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.